Now the first thing I have done right here is to take my zipper allowance which is about one and a half inches. You can decide to make yours one inch. Now from that line I will take my shoulder to shoulder measurement divided by two and I would add half inch for allowance to join to my sleeve. Now I will just go downwards by one inch for my shoulder slant and from my zipper same allowance line I will take three inches which is standard for connecting your shoulder slant. Now I will take my neckline measurement. I will use three inches in length and also three inches in width for my neckline measurement. Don't forget to add your neckline curve. And from my shoulder slant, I would take my armhole depth, which is eight and a half inches, and I would connect my line. Now this line is going to be my bust line. Now the next measurement I am going to take right now is my bust circumference divided by 4. And also don't forget that your bomber jacket needs allowance. It, it is not fitted. So you need seam allowance. You need ease. So I added 2 inches for ease and 1 inch for sewing allowance. Now to determine the length of your bomber jacket, you need your zipper. Just place it at your neckline and the length of your zipper would be where your bomber jacket would stop. As you can see, I just placed my mark right there. Now at this point, you also need to make sure that the zipper you are using can be opened at the bottom as you can see. Now from here, I would measure the length of my jacket, which is 24 inches. Now I will just measure that length all the way and connect my line. Now next thing I am doing right now is to place half inch for bottom hemming allowance. On my length, I will take my hip circumference divided by 4 and I would add that same 2 inches I added on my bust line for ease. I will add it right here and I would also add 1 inch for sewing allowance. Now if you notice, you would see that I didn't take any waist measurement, any shoulder to waist measurement because it is not needed. On my armhole line, I will place my tape rule like this and find the midpoint and go inwards by one inch and connect my armhole curve. And as it is, the front pattern is finished and I will just cut this out. So now what we're going to do right now is we're going to retrace the front pattern on a new pattern so as to draft the back pattern. Now, as you can see, I just folded my zipper allowance for my front pattern and I just placed it at the edge of this new pattern. And from the highest point of my shoulder, I will just take that marginal line right there. And next thing I am going to do is to connect my armhole line like this. And the neckline I am going to be using for the length for the back is going to be one and a half inches in length. And the width remains the same with the front neckline. Right now, I will cut the neckline of the back and I will cut the shoulder, which is going to be the same with the front. And I would cut the armhole like this and also cut out the rest. Now, in case you're wondering, in pattern making, the neckline of the front is usually deeper than the neckline of the back. If you're used to pattern making, you should know that by now. Next thing I am going to do right now is to place my front and back pattern together. And from the bottom up, I am going to take three inches. And this three inches is going to serve as my band pattern. You know, in bomber jacket, there is this band you usually see at the bottom of your jacket. And this pattern is going to serve as that band. For the band, I am going to be using the scuba fabric. 
and it is really thick and very stretchy you can also use any fabric of your choice that is that is thick and also has a very stretchy uh, feel to it now i'm going to fold this scuba in half and i'm going to place my pattern on that fold as you can see i am using the front pattern now i will just go on and cut this out as it is and also make sure to add half inch allowance at both ends as you can see i only used the front pattern to only cut the band because the band is very stretchy and it will stretch all the way to the back now for the back pattern i will fold it over like this and i will cut this into two now i am going to use this to cut on my fabric and from what i was saying this band is going to stretch all the way to the back as you can see in the sewing process you will understand better what i am trying to say to you now as you can see i am done cutting this band and i have cut this one on my fabric and i am going to place it right here at each side now i will take the neckline of the back which is four inches and i will also take the neckline of the front but before i do that i would place my zipper allowance on fold and my front neckline is five inches now because my pattern is on fold both the front and the back that means my back pattern is going to be eight inches instead of four inches and the front pattern is going to be 10 inches instead of five inches and that in total is 18 inches now as you can see my pattern is on fold and i just took a marginal line and from this point i will go upwards by half inch and i will take one and half from that half inch line and i will take i'll place my 18 inches mark like this and the next thing i'm going to do right now is place that same one and a half inches i placed right here and i'll place it right here and i'll connect my lines now next thing i'm going to do is to take two inches from this point i'll take two inches and from this point i'll take half inch or 0 0.3 inches and just connect that line and next thing i'll do is to cut this pattern out now i am going to place this and cut on my scuba fabric just like i did for my band and just make sure that the bottom part is folded and i'll just go in and cut out the rest and now as you can see i left half inch seam allowance at the edges so as to join to my jacket and as you can see i have also cut out my front pattern on my fabric and i left half inch seam allowance at the bottom for joining to my band as you can see my front pattern i cut two of it and for my back pattern i left seam allowance at the bottom and my back pattern i cut it on fold as you can see it is on fold it is just one piece for the back pattern and for the sleeve i am going to be using the basic sleeve pattern i have a tutorial on how to draft this basic sleeve pattern if you don't know how to draft this please go and watch that video now from my seam allowance of my sleeve i am taking two and a half inches mark as you can see and this is going to serve as my jacket band you know in your bomber jackets you see that band thing around the wrist area and this is what i am going to use for it i'm going to just place this on my scuba and i will just cut this out now as you can see i have cut out my sleeve on my fabric and i left seam allowance at the bottom for joining to the band and i also left seam allowance at the top for joining to my jacket and here my lovely friends is your bomber jacket pattern tutorial i am going to be making a part two which is going to be the sewing 
and conclusion part for this tutorial and do watch out for the video if you like this video do give it a thumbs up and hope to see you in much more exciting tutorials to come see you bye bye cheers